How did the teacup change the course of Chinese history? Did they used to have tea just in their hands like that? No. <laughs> they invented it, you might almost say. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to invent something with this. <laughs> they invented it so early that it was a disadvantage. It held back the course of Chinese oh, history. Oh, when they were building the Great War, was everyone going, right, cuppa? Yeah, we'll have a cup. Of <laughs> 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 they had to make 5,000 cups of tea and then, well, the day's over. We've got nothing. Then. <laughs> they did, unlike the Europeans. Is it because they, yeah. they... Now, is it something to do with metal and ceramics or is it because they invented it and they didn't therefore invent it's, other things yes. that would have come before it? Yeah, that's in, the point. In, other that in our culture, we came to China much later, which we got from them, hence calling it China. So we but had bronze. We, and we also like wine, which they never drank in China. And wine, is the colour is very beautiful, and we developed a technology for containing glass. wine. Glass. With glass came lens grinding, came telescopes and microscopes. And through spectacles, Intellectuals and scientists had an extra 15 to 20 years of reading an active life and further all the way through to the invention of medical science. Flasks, beakers, retorts, because it's chemically neutral glass, doesn't react to anything that's in it. And the Chinese had no glass made in all of China from the 14th century right up to the 19th century. And no mirrors either. And therefore no mirrors. So, in fact... Just because they were satisfied with the teacup and didn't bother this incredibly ingenious race who would otherwise have invented so many other things and did invent so many other things, were the, the one thing they couldn't do. And electronics used glass for valves and, and so course, on. The irony is a lot of them prefer coffee. Yeah! <laughs> Go figure.